I accidentally charged two of my 4S batteries to high volt, 4.35 volts, the other day. I have since discharged them to storage. I don't know if I should risk charging them again. Uh, okay, Steve, so it is good to be paranoid about batteries because if you don't know with batteries, it's better to be paranoid than to be uh, lackadaisical and let your house on fire. But in this case, you're being way too paranoid. It's okay. If they were going to be damaged, if they were, go sorry, if they were going to light on fire, they would have done it when you overcharged them. Now that they're back into a safe voltage range, it's okay. By overcharging them, you have slightly, in a minuscule way, increased their internal resistance, right? But it's okay. They're, they're safe to use. They're almost certainly, like obviously I can't 100% guarantee you they're safe. I don't know the whole story. In general though, simply overcharging the batteries to 4.35, if they were gonna light on fire, they would have, it, since they didn't, they're still safe to use. They're just slightly more wear and tear on them than if you had never done that. So I don't think you need to worry about it. Um, like, the thing is, okay, now, big, big yellow flags around everything I'm about to say, okay? Safety warning. The thing is, you can overcharge basically any LiPo to 4.35 volts. I'm not saying that you should. Okay, I'm saying that I've intentionally overcharged LiPos with the intent of lighting them on fire for the sake of doing a demonstration. And I have never had one go before like 4.5 volts. Now, these were generally brand new, pretty healthy LiPos that I was, well, that's not even true. Because sometimes I'm like, hey, I want to pop a LiPo off for a demonstration. Uh, get me an old beat up one so I can destroy it. Um, the, the, the point is that just because in general, I've never had a lipo go off below 4.5 volts doesn't mean that you won't, right? So I'm not saying you should do this, but I am saying that simply overcharging a lipo to 4.35 volts is not as wildly risky as it might feel. Um, it damages the lipo. It makes it, it shortens its lifespan and the difference between the high volts and the non-high volt lipos is that the high volts have something different in their chemistry that makes them more tolerant to being overcharged without being damaged. I don't know what that is because I'm not an expert on battery chemistries. But you could say, I'm gonna just overcharge all my regular lipos to 4.35 volts. I'm going to accept the fact that I have a slightly increased risk of burning my house down and I'm gonna take steps to mitigate that. And I'm gonna accept that I'm gonna burn through these batteries faster and they're gonna wear out faster, but you could certainly do that. And some racers do that. There are racers, because for some god unknown reason, uh, as far as I can tell, most most drone races don't check voltage on the line. Maybe they started doing that. I don't know. They didn't used to. But racers used to commonly overcharge their lipos just as they needed. And then once upon a time, Alex Vanover lit uh, the pits on fire <laughs> by overcharging a battery too far. This was years and years ago. He was younger and he's learned from his mistakes, but it it was one of the it had happened right about the time when I first met him. And so everybody was like, "Hey Alex, you like the here I heard you lit the tent on fire. Huh? Good good job, Alex." So, yeah. I wouldn't freak out. They're probably fine and you're probably not no no more unsafe than you were.